Welcome back to Atlanta and Company. I'm Christine Pilar. I'm trying to get advice about my crazy dog, Ruby. Pamela <laughs> Bryant and Roderick Page are in the house, and they've brought along some adorable puppies. Do you need a puppy? I hope so. <laughs> Welcome. How are you guys? Good. Thank you. Who do you have with us today? Today we have Nolan, who's about a three-month-old little lab terrier mix oh, puppy. So cute. And then this is Edison. Edison is like a lab terrier. Show us your face, Edison. He's about three years old. So he so won't get pretty. any bigger than he is right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And how about Nolan? Nolan will probably get about that size. About that size. Okay. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. good. <laughs> and um, who are they suited for? Give us an idea of what kind of homes that they'd be best with. They are both, because they both have the lab breed in them, they're both going to be good with active families. Okay. Um, of course, the lab loves water. So anybody that has a lake or likes to go to the lake, they will be great additions to any family. Big backyards. Yeah. Or they could, be, they could be confined to a park as well okay. but somebody that's definitely active active gonna mm -hmm. just take them out and about and get some uh, some exercise exactly in and you don't just have dogs at the shelter you have lots of cats too so let's talk about that we do we do have cats at the shelter all kinds and we do always have a special of two cats for the price of one oh, I did not know that yes that's excellent mm -hmm. you can always get two cats for $65 at the shelter great that is a bargain and speaking of that tell us more about the adoption process because it, it really for anybody who's watching is thinking well that sounds good but I bet you it's a lengthy process it's really not it's really not you just come to the Fulton County Animal Shelter fill out an adoption application find a pet that you like usually the pet can either go home that day or maybe the next business day because hmm. everybody has to be spayed or neutered and if somebody out there can adopt right now how can we help what are the little ways that we can make your lives easier down there we always need volunteers for maybe coming down and walking the dogs or social Socializing a puppy or a cat. So we always need newspapers, gently used towels or blankets, things like that. Okay. Would be very helpful. Okay, terrific. And and a donation isn't too bad either. And right? a donation is never too bad. <laughs> okay, good. And talk about your success rate. Um, right before they came on the show, I said, "How did we do last week?" And the good news is, Milton is adopted. That was Great. a little Dotson. Yeah. And Cricket, uh, her owner actually came and reclaimed her after seeing her on TV. So that was really great. I know, yeah. Evelyn. I know it, it, the whole studio is going oh, because I, I asked uh, Pamela. I said, "Does that happen often where the owner reclaims them?" And she said, "Not very often." But yeah. whatever the circumstances were, at least now she feels She's or back he at feels home. That, you know, yes. he can handle it. And so that's great, great news. Thank you so much for being You're here. Welcome. Thank you. Look at these cute faces. Come on. <laughs> You know you want to adopt a dog over the holiday weekend. If you want to adopt these two or any of the animals at the Barkingham Village Foundation, give them a call, 404-897-5651, or visit them online at bhvf.org. Very well behaved. And this segment was paid for by the Barkingham Village Foundation. Aw. <laughs> Up next, our Con Jackson joins us to talk about a group of little...